Today is a big day. We are getting rid of the dummies. Oh, we only have the two. Um, but yes, it is time. Ellis is two and just over two and a half. He's three in August. And it's just time to get rid of the dummies. And today is the day we're doing it. It is bank holiday Sunday. So we have tomorrow to recover if he doesn't sleep well tonight. And yes, it's just time. And lots of big changes are happening in the next couple of months. We're hopefully moving house at the end of this month. And then um, obviously baby number two should be coming in July. And then obviously because we're moving house, he will have to start a new nursery in September. So it's a lot of big changes. And we just thought if we keep putting it off, then all the big changes will be a reason not to wean him off. So we thought we'll just do it now, bite the bullet, get it over with. And then, um, yeah, then, it, then it'll be done. And he's not gonna be, you know, we're not gonna be doing this when he's three, three and a half, and it's just gonna be even harder to get rid of them. So I have looked online at how best to do this because there's so many different ways of doing it. There's the way of like cutting holes into your dummies and things like that, which makes the baby toddler not like the dummy anymore. But I was concerned by doing that just for health and safety reasons. I was worried that by doing that, it could like cause a choking hazard something or the fear that it wouldn't work and then we're just stuck with a broken dummy and him screaming for a dummy that he wanted. I don't know, I didn't like the idea of it. And so we've decided to go down the dummy fairy route. We've been talking about it now for a good couple of, it's about a couple of weeks now, I've been talking to Ella saying, the dummy fairy's coming soon. And I said, yes, so the dummy fairy is coming today. He only has it at night time and nap time. He doesn't have it during the day at all. It's just the sleeping where we're gonna struggle. So the dummy fairy route we are taking is that um, the dummy fairy is going to come now. <laughs> She's gonna leave Ellis this note here. So I watched Jennifer Joy, who's a, a YouTuber, and this is how she did it. Because the other ways of doing it is that babies give up their dummies just before they go to bed. I don't think that's enough time for Ellis. I think he won't, he won't transition well with that. So the idea is that we're gonna go downstairs, dummy fairy's gonna arrive, leave a little bag, and the letter, and then we're literally gonna go straight out to the toy shop to get him a toy of his choosing. Uh, when he comes back, the dummies will be gone. And there's another little note here which says, hope you like your new toy. It looks like so much fun. I have to go back to my fairy castle, but I've left you a little present of my own. You can read these books with your mummy and daddy. And so I've got him three books. Um, one is the dummy fairy book. I got it off Amazon. To be honest, it looks rubbish. <laughs> Uh, I've read it and I think it's awful, so I wouldn't recommend that book. There's a couple, few, there's a few other ones out there which I think would be better suited, to be honest. But, and then I've also got him the Superworm book by Julia Donaldson because he really likes the Julia Donaldson collection, and also like a Gruffalo activity book, which does say it's better for three-year-olds upwards because it does seem a bit advanced, but it doesn't matter. It's just stickers and stuff which he'll enjoy. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm slightly terrified, I have to say, because the. the it just makes life so much easier when he's put Ellis to bed and he goes to sleep because he has a dummy. So now it's just going to be a lot of stress for today, I think, at least. But it has to be done. He can't have a dummy forever. Oh my goodness, Ellis! What's happened? What's that? What's that? What's in that green basket? What's that, Ellis? Is that from the dummy fairy? <gasps> the dummy fairy's bin. Well done, Ellis. You are a big boy now. <gasps> I've come on a special trip to pick up your dummies and give them to babies who need them. <gasps> but don't worry, I have a present for you instead. Take this voucher to the toy shop <gasps> and pick up any toy you like. So she put them in here and leave them for the dummy fairy and she'll take them away. She'll take yeah, them. No. Remember, we've got to give them to the babies. The babies need them instead, Ellis. Oh, you don't need them, do you? Uh, I know, they have to go in here and the dummy fairy will take them and give them to the babies who need them. Yeah, I know. But you're a big boy, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you put them in there? Oh, yeah. fantastic. Great. So we close it, you pull the string, pull the string, whoop! Right, we'll leave it in the basket, so we leave that here, and then the dummy fairy's gonna come and take them. So we say bye bye dummies. Should we go to the toy shop? What are we gonna buy from the toy shop? Don't buy something special. 
something special, it? yeah. Because the babies need them now, don't they? Yeah, you put them in the basket and then we're going to go. We'll get our shoes on and we're going to go in the car and go to the toy shop. Yeah. <gasps> okay, good. Let's put them in. They're squeezing them. They're squeezing it, yeah. Them in the wall. Come on then, let's go. Let's get our shoes on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fantastic. Let's leave them there and then we're going to go. We're going to go to the toy shop. We'll leave the basket here because the dummy fairy has to collect it. Yeah, so I'll take this one. Yeah. And we're going to pick it. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, Ellis is currently in the car. Uh, he's put them in the bag, obviously. And now I'm like, do I just put them in the bin? Or do I hold on to them? Well, my fear is that if I hold on to them, I'll end up giving them back to him if he starts like kicking off. So then we're going to have to put it in the bin. <sighs> in the bin. They're in the bin. Come on, Sonny, so you can't see them anymore. They're gone. Right, no turning back. They have gone. <sighs> Nightmare. Right, let me get the books quickly sorted. Where are they? Oh, yeah. Quickly sort while they're in the car. And then, gotta go, gotta go. We got a letter, Show, let me see your letter. Can I see your letter? Oh, you excited? There's a dummy there, yeah. Woohoo! What's this, Ellis? What's this? What's that? <laughs> <gasps> Is that toys? <laughs> He's like, off I go. Run away. No, don't run away. No. <laughs> Come on then. That's a toy! Toys! What's that? Oh, what's he? Oh, I want you a pig. You think you've already got? You've got that at home already, don't you? I need one. You've got it already. I need that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dougie! This Dougie? <laughs> oh no. What's down here, Ellis? What else is it? <laughs> Look at this! Oh no. Oh, oh. Louie! Wowie! Yeah, wowie! <laughs> but now he's just seen these. And they're um, 199 pounds. Touch and obviously it. we don't need that. Tell, you can touch it. Oh yeah, that's right. Like <laughs> that. I, I need a little You want to sit on that? Yeah. <laughs> wowie! <laughs> Not this silly Pokemon thing. Which is not what we wanted. Because I hate Coco Melon, but Nursery plays it, so we're stuck with it. Um, so yeah, that's what we've chosen. What have you got? You've got a Coco Melon thing and two Bluey toys. So we need to go queue up. Let's go. Oh, that's your little just, just pretend. <laughs> Thank you. And the Blueys too, yeah. And bingo, we've got to give Lady Bingo. Then we can put it in a bag. <laughs> yeah. So slow. <laughs> so we are obviously home now. We left the toy shop, we went to Greg's and had a vegan sausage roll. And so yeah, we're home. Ellis came back. He had his two new books of the Superworm and the Dummy Fairy book uh, laid out for him. But he wasn't that bothered by them. I think he just got beyond tired. It was about 12 30 by the time we got back. And I think he was kind of getting a bit like, I'm tired now not interested in the books, blah, blah, blah. So we were just like, okay, fine, we'll take up to bed. Um, he did have a bit of a cry. Um, he was very upset, the fact that there was no dummies there. He was going, oh no. And we said, obviously we've, you've given them to the dummy face and I didn't. Um, so that was interesting and not much fun. The difference is, I think it's very important that if you were to do the dummy fairy method to obviously 
ensure that the toddler is the one that puts the the dummies in the bag and puts it in the basket box wherever you're putting them in um, just so that the baby toddler knows that they're doing it and you're not doing it because obviously well, oh you've got bluey and bingo now these are sort toys you bought and he was pushing them aside throwing the books on the floor because he was very upset but obviously he was upset as opposed to angry which was is an easier uh, emotion to deal with i find because obviously they're they haven't they can't express their frustration obviously onto you like tantrums do so that was an quite an interesting observation on my part uh to see him sad as opposed to angry but he's fine he's coming down for a nap with no dummy he got a bit upset again there he is sleeping no dummy uh, he got a bit upset again um just before he went into bed he was a bit upset about it then but then because it's been such a busy morning with the toy shop and everything that helped him go to sleep quicker so that's first hurdle crossed we've got to get bedtime done which i think will be trickier because he does sleep at nursery with no dummy at nap time so he's used to the daytime nap it's the night time will be the tricky one and obviously it's a longer stretch as well with no dummy so yes we will see how it goes but like i say so far so good we're getting there <sighs> In the kitchen, cooking on the stove. <laughs> you can call me. Loving his new toy. Don't mind my uh, very shiny face. I've got my face oil on. Um, it is currently ten past eight, and Ellis is in bed. I don't know if he's asleep. I think he might be asleep now. <sighs> success. Yeah, success. This is incredible. We were expecting a little bit more drama for night time, especially. The battery died on me. I don't know where I left off. Basically, so he woke up just, just a little bit of a rundown of what happened this evening. Because obviously, like I mentioned, he didn't have any sort of upset at all this at night, which was a big, big surprise. So I was so sure he would have a huge meltdown and be shouting for his dummies. One thing we we're hyper aware of is that when he gets really tired, he gets really upset, obviously, um, and will then have meltdowns and tantrums and he's very hard to control and manage because he's just sort of frantic and just running all over the place and doesn't know what he wants and he's just tired. And then he will shout out for he wants the dummy. So we were like, okay, we're not gonna let that happen today. Um, we need to make sure that we are in bed at a reasonable time and just so we avoid any tantrums. So when he woke up from his nap at three o'clock, he had a two hour nap. Two hour nap? Yeah, two hour nap. Woke him up at three o'clock. And then we just sort of just hung out in the house for a bit as usual. What we would usually do is maybe just hang out in the house all afternoon, maybe go in the garden a little bit. But today we went to the playground after his nap. Um, we phoned Nanny and Grandad first of all to tell them the news that the dummy fairy had been. And then we went to the playground and played there for a bit, just so he could burn off extra energy. Came back home, he came in, had a bath, because bath time is a very emotional time when he's tired. Mm. Had dinner, and then went back upstairs and we managed to get, and then did the usual bedtime routine. He didn't want to read the books that the dummy fairy had brought him. He did look at the dummy fairy book, which I bought him, and there is a picture of a baby with a dummy. So we just had, you know, the confirmation of, yes, a baby has his dummy and blah, 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 blah. I had to sing the usual three nursery rhymes, which we sing twice. I had to sing it about eight or nine times. And I had to sit with him for about 15 to 20 minutes and Sean had to take over because I was getting stomach cramp sitting on the floor holding his hand. And yeah, he went down, so fine, Sean left the room. Uh, and now it's, like I said, 10 past eight and he's asleep. So one thing, he has this like jelly cat monkey somehow become attached to all of a sudden and he was sat, as I was sat, just about to start reading the books to him, he turned to the monkey and went, it's okay monkey, the dummy fairy has the dummies. And, I was, and he said he's crying, he's crying. So I hugged the monkey because the monkey was sad that the dummies had been taken. I don't know, that was him reflecting his emotions through the monkey. <laughs> um, so that was quite sweet. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he hasn't asked the dummies once, which is incredible. He's asleep now, like I said. So fingers crossed, the night goes smoothly and we never hear about a dummy ever again. Well, here we are, it is the next day. Um, excuse me, just sat in the, pretty much the same place I was yesterday. So I thought I'd give you a quick update of how the day has gone. It is currently five o'clock, five o'clock in the evening. And obviously 
we've had nap time today and we've had obviously the night time has passed already and so I will tell you that Ellis did amazingly last night with no <laughs> uh, he slept from when I last spoke to eight eight o'clock from eight o'clock until six o'clock in the morning or six thirty in the morning no wake-ups no crying nothing no shouting out for it everything was absolutely fine it was incredible when um, we woke up in the morning we were like oh my god he slept through and there's been no issues at all about <laughs> about the missing item I'm not going to speak about whilst he's here I don't want to remind him of what happened and then for nap time we had some family members visiting during the day today the afternoon did get away from us a little bit so when it came to nap time he was a bit more upset. Oh, you're squashing me. He was a bit upset, and so Sean, uh, who put him down for a nap, was with him for a bit longer than we anticipated. Uh, and we did hear him call uh, out, and he did call out for the item. Uh, one time, uh, one or two times, and was quite upset. But I think he was more upset because he was so tired, uh, as yeah, opposed to... Yeah. 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 So, yeah, he's done really, really well. We've been super impressed, and we can't believe how... So, sort of, easy it's been we thought it'd be like a really long drawn out process and yeah going cold turkey is definitely the way forward don't worry about cutting the hole in, in anything like that did you just do what we did with the fairy and yeah you're in for a winner <sighs> but yeah i don't think we need to do an update i think this is going to be it i'm just like i say it's super easy for us anyway super impressed with ellis and yeah such a weight off my mind something i haven't got to worry about anymore so yeah that's it i guess for that video so thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next one bye